Down to 14, passing 116 yards. They flex him, and he is sacked. In his own end zone, McGloin intercepted. Inside the 20, Shazier touchdown. It is BCN Live. Dave Reps and Chuck Long, Howard Griffith. Ohio State still unbeaten heading into Saturday's game against Illinois. Played very well in that win against Penn State in State College this past weekend. Buckeyes cornerback Bradley Roby joining us now. And Bradley, this defense has really turned it around. I mean, there were some questions about the Buckeyes D after the Nebraska and Indiana games. What do you think has changed? Uh, I believe that we, we've been playing with a little bit more confidence and a little bit more swagger than we were earlier in the season. And we've been playing with a little bit more passion. I feel like that's the thing that we've been missing uh, earlier in the season. And we just kind of got together and, and we had some serious meetings and some serious talks. And we're like, we got to get this together. And I feel like that's definitely kind of what's, what's been the reason why we've been playing so, so good lately. Hello, Bradley. Knowing that you guys are not able to go to the Big Ten Championship or to a bowl game, yet you guys have, done, have won every football game, which I think is remarkable. How have you guys stayed focused going into, going into this month of November, knowing that there's some preseason speculation that you guys would have a tough November? But how have you guys stayed focused in winning every game? Um, Coach Meyer just taught us to take it one game at a time, one day at a time. So. Uh, even though we can't play in a bowl game this year, we kind of uh, get ourselves motivated for each game. We were 6-7 and seven last year. Uh, we lost a lot of games, a lot of teams. So I feel like we really go in each week just trying to redeem ourselves from the performance we had last year in games where certain teams. So I feel like that's kind of what drives us to uh, play at a high level even though we don't have any uh, bowl game at the end of the season. You mentioned about having some serious meetings. And those meetings, I'm guessing, Urban was involved in. What really took place in those meetings? And can you put, a, put your finger on exactly what was said to get you guys really rolling and playing at a higher level defensively? Uh, those are kind of meetings that are kind of confidential. Uh, <laughs> can't really talk about really what happens at, at meetings like that. But, I mean, you can, right. guess, you can guess what happens at meetings like that. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of serious talking and a lot of serious, a lot of stuff going on. And we can't really say what was going on, but uh, we kind of got our minds right when we all was like, at the end of the meetings, uh, we kind of thought the same way. We kind of got on the right path. And I feel like that's what it was. We all had to get on the same page. And those type of meetings with Coach Meyer and our defensive staff, kind of pulled us together as a, as, as a unit. That's how our show production meetings are, too. Highly, Highly confidential. confidential. <laughs> Can't talk about it. Bradley Roby's with us here on BTN Live. Named yesterday yeah. as one of the 15 semifinalists for the Thorpe Award, given to the best defensive mm -hmm. back in the country. Dave Revson, Howard Griffith, Chuck Long. How does that feel to be on that list, uh, Bradley? It's a great list to be on. It's a prestigious list. How does it feel to be on that Jim Thorpe list? Um, it feels very good to be on that list, uh, especially considering I wasn't even on the watch list in the beginning of the season. And to be a semifinalist now is, is, a, is a step in the right direction. It's not winning it, and it's not a finalist. So I'm not, like, very excited right now, but I'm actually honored that uh, they've been noticing my play. So I just want to keep it up and make that next, that, make that next cut so I can be uh, in the, the top three. Bradley, just a few games left, and as Chuck was alluding to, this team still undefeated. You're ranked number six in the AP poll. I guess I want to take his question a little bit further. Has there been any talk amongst you guys of that kind of what-if scenario? I mean, what if we were eligible this year? Because, you know, clearly you'd be in the national championship picture. Right. Um, guys talk about it all the time. Uh, what if we weren't? Um, and eligible for the bowl games this year. We would be number one or number two or things like that, but we don't really worry about it. Like, we can't, we can't control what the NCAA has, has um, done to us, so we can't really control it. So we just want to go out and win. This season is really for pride. It's not really about winning any bowl games or, or winning any national championships. It's just about pride. We want to get the Ohio State tradition back to winning and things of the, uh, like that. So we just want to redeem ourselves from our performance last year. So as long as we can go undefeated and win every game, that's good enough for us. 
Well, you're certainly well on your way to doing that. Ohio State corner Bradley Roby, thanks a lot, Bradley. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you, guys.